So I'm just going to bait up these two crab traps, or some blue swimmer crabs. And um, as I spoken earlier, that's the remaining mullet. We had the other two for dinner, so I've got two traps, we'll go half in each. So that bait will be suspended there. So. I think I only need one. Alright. So this trap is good to go. And then I'll just pop this float back in. So with New South Wales regulations, um, all these traps have to be attached to a float and on the float you have to write your initials uh, with your year of birth and also your postcode where you live along with the letters CT meaning crab trap and if you are using the witch's hat it is HT Actually, you know it's size. What size? Because it has to be. Wow. It has to be six centimeters that way. Oh, that's that's mad. I'm gonna um, get some rubber, get some rubber bands and just make it go through the cords. There's none of the other one. No. I think it's too close. I can't, I can't move it. Yeah, move it. Move it closer to I think where the oysters are. Yeah, move it far. Okay. So finally, after three attempts, <laughs> we finally got some crabs. Um, so this is going to be another catch and cook. Not sure what we're going to be doing yet, but um, once that starts happening, we'll find out. No, no, he's his size. Actually, I'll see. I'll see what's going on. We'll measure him anyway. It's got to be six. Uh, Why don't you bring it up here? I can do it down there. You so. do it down there. I don't want it to claw you. It's all good. So I'll be keeping these alive um, just for freshness and we've got to check the size on this one just to make sure he's legal as well. But I've seen many before, this one is probably just on legal. So they need to be six centimeters that way. Finger is it? Say it's on. There's enough crab right, there's massive mud crab right here. Are you serious? Massive mud crab right here. Alright, oh, right. right. Oh, oh, oh. Take this, take this. Yeah. And even better. <laughs> Mud crab. Oh yeah, thanks buddy. Good man. Finally. Yeah, 
get it? Yep, up, 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 honey. Yep. Isn't it? Yes, Mum, yeah. we just got a big mud crab. Yeah. This is the one we saw the other night. Oh, it's yeah. full. It's pretty full, this one. Is there another one? Yeah. Just now? Yep. <laughs> Nathan saw it. So. Um, guys, you're going to reshift your soldier crabs? Yeah, go ahead. Put it. Uh, I'm just... Maybe the one that ran away the other night. Okay. Alright, Mackie. Do your thing, dude. Alright, time is crab. There we go. On the menu. Oh, gone in lava, isn't it? Yeah. And also, gangland. No, I'll get rid of it. You can't do anything with the score. And uh, this is also on the menu. How heavy is that mud crab, do you think? This one's about. Oh, he killed, just broke his leg off. This one is, I'd say, if it had two claws, so it's about 1.5, 1 1.7. Wow. Yeah. That would be it, but it had to have the other claw. And he is, let's see, meat-wise, yeah. Jack them up. This is it's how you tell, cool. it, is it yeah, hard? how you tell they're full on it. It's hard, it feels heavy to the hole as well. So. Awesome. This guy, this guy's pretty good too. I'll keep him alive. Let's keep fresh. And also, another way of finding out too, for male crabs, is you press there, there, it's solid. There. You don't do much of that floor. I thought it's broken in here with a gap. Yeah. yeah, so now that we've got our pretty much a good quota of crabs, I'm actually going to let this female one go. Uh, so uh, you can go, she can go back and do her thing. And Godspeed, my friend. The rope, yes. <coughs> All right, a very lively blue swimmer that I did have the course secured, but it is he is free now, and he's not cooperating. Just quickly secure the claw. So we're ready for our catch and cook now. Um, and um, after serious thought, I decided we're gonna do a crab carbonara style. So um, my nephew Nathan has actually came up with a name for it. It's called crabonara. So we'll stay tuned and I'll tell you what it's all about. And when it comes to crab, it doesn't get any fresher than this. These two guys are still alive. I'm just gonna quickly dispatch it. Now it can be a bit graphic. Crazy about it, look away. So with this one, I'll start with the blue swimmer. It's just a straight knife into the middle and he's done. Same with the mud crab. And he's done too. See when he's lip like that, that's dead there. I'll just quickly take these guys over and have them clean and we'll, um, we'll start cooking. Right. So the plan for this cabanara is basically I'm gonna boil the crab and let it cool, then we'll pick out the meat and combine it with the pasta. Uh, 
So straight into a pot of boiling water. I'll start with the big mud crab first because it being the crab this size, it's gonna take a little bit longer to cook. Um, cooking time, I'm gonna give it 20 to 25 minutes. So I'll start with this guy and I'll give him about 10 minutes, then I'll add the blue swimmer in. Camera's fogging up. There's nothing like the smell of freshly cooked crab. So the mud crab's been in here for 15 minutes. Get a close up. The colour's starting to change. I think it's about half cooked. I'm going to go ahead and put this blue swimmer in here. Now you may notice there's not a lot of water in here. I'm actually just steaming it. It's not quite, and actually quite a boil. I'll put the lid back on. And the steam rises and it cooks the crab. Yep, so we'll give that another 10 to 15 minutes and we should be ready. Right, the crabs are done now. So I'm just going to take them out and I'll show you what they're like. I'll start with the blue swimmer. That's there. Oh, that's lovely. When it's orange like that, you know it's cooked. And next up is the mud crab. We'll just place them down there. Now I'm going to set these here on the table for about half an hour, let them cool. Then I'll pluck out the meat and then we'll proceed with the next step. The crab is now cool to touch. So I'm going to go proceed by taking the meat out. I'll show you how it's done. See that lovely claw there? Look at the meat. Let's use just my hands. Just pick it off. Being that I'm away from home, I don't actually have a crab crusher, so I'm gonna have to just improvise. And this is a, a crab pick that I bushcraft. It's just the chopsticks, a sharp in front. Oh, it is. This crab was very healthy. It's nice and full. The yield of the meat is going to be quite decent with this, being that it's such a full crab. That's just the meat of one claw there. Actually, not the full claw, there's a little bit here too. Alright, so I've just done picking out all the meat now. Um, so that's the yield. It's quite a decent yield considering the size of the crabs. So this side here, that's the mud crab. You can see the variation between the two. Um, the taste is also variable as well. Uh, personally, I uh, think the blue swimmer is a lot sweeter, but other people prefer mud crab each to their own, I suppose. And I've kept a few of the legs just as an aesthetic presentation uh, when we serve up the pasta. I'm going to start the cooking process by just um, cooking the pasta. So I'm just going to add a bit of um, salt to boiling water. And this water is quite salty because um, I'm not going to be adding any salt to the carbonara mix. All the salt, the pasta is going to be slightly salted and the salt is going to come from the bacon when we cook it up. And then we'll give it a splash of olive oil just to prevent the pasta from sticking together as well. Just uh, about a tablespoon's worth. And then... I'm feeding six people tonight, so I think I'll go one and a half packets of um, 
fettuccine. Let's put that in. When it starts to melt, then we'll press it down. Go with the other half. Alrighty, we we'll just let it do its thing. Okay, so doing the hot sauce saucepan, I just put a bit of olive oil and we're gonna brown up some garlic. Next ingredient to go in is this is just 400 grams of streaky bacon, it's just been finely chopped. I'm gonna pop that in there and let it release its salt and flavours and also let it crisp up. Right, the bacon is browning along nicely. I'm going to proceed with the next ingredient. Now this uh, carbonara style sauce that I'm doing is exactly the same uh, style as I did in my earlier video with the razor clam. And if you're interested in that, just check out the link above. Um, so, Also, the next ingredient is basically um, an egg wash. This is just two eggs. I just whisk that up. And I'm just going to add a bit of um, full cream milk to it. Just a little splash. Just make it a bit runnier. That's about half a cup's worth there. Let's give that a mix. And then straight into the pot. And we'll let that do its thing for a bit. The consistency you want is a very fine scrambled like texture on the egg. That gives the texture in the sauce. Alright, just testing on the pasta. Just a little bit more. So the pasta's just going on done now. Next ingredient I'm gonna add is this is just some thickened cream. Because the base of this sauce is a rich thick and creamy base and I'll just bring that up to the heat and then we'll finish it off with the pasta and the crab. All right. The carbonara base is just on ready so I'm actually just going to turn off the heat and the timing is perfect too because the pasta is just on al dente. Let's have a little taste. Mm. That's perfect. So I'm just going to move this over and we'll combine it all. So the pasta, no need for straining or anything, just straight into the sauce. And we'll just slightly toss that up. Oh, that looks sensational already. It was good, that lovely close up there. And just to finish it off, I'm gonna fold the crab meat in. Now, this is just to warm it through because this crab is already cooked and we do not wanna lose any of that natural flavor. Just pop that in there. All right. And then just give it a toss. Oh, if only there was smell of vision the smell that's coming off this is amazing. So I'm just going to bring it over and dish it up into a nice dish. Finish it off with a couple of eggs for just um, some aesthetic presentation. Just a little handful of shallots, just as a garnish. And there you have it. Fettuccine in a crab carbonara 
otherwise known as Crabinara. Now back to my favourite part of every single video, the tasting. Uh, but I'm going to do it slightly differently today. I'm going to let my nephew Nathan have a taste, being that he's the one that came up with the creative name. Uh, so come here mate, come over here. I'll sort you out with the plate of this. And uh, tell me what you think. Alright. You've got a bit of lovely bit of crab meat there. Alright, now um, do you have pepper? Oh sure. Yeah, get a bit of cracked pepper for you. Get it open. There we go. What about par parmesan cheese? Oh yeah, yes yeah, please. Yeah. yeah. All the good stuff. Yeah. Tell me when, eh? Yeah. Right, that's enough. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Uh, thank you. Tuck in, buddy. Some bacon. Mm. That's it, mate. I'm not it. Sensational. The crab. The flavour is amazing, the cream is very rich, and the bacon is always good. I couldn't have said it better myself. So once again guys, um, I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this meal with um, my uh, family, and uh, until the next video, bye for now. Mm.